walk through how to embed this ConvertKit sign-up form on our card site. So you'll need a card account and a corresponding ConvertKit newsletter site. All right, let's head over to card. So here in card, you can see that I have this nice section called contact and I have this newsletter sign-up field. But we want to connect that to ConvertKit. So if you aren't familiar with how to get a form, let's go ahead and hit the plus sign and you'll click form. So you can see that drops down to the bottom. So let's just go ahead and bring that up. And then we need to style it accordingly. So we'll start with the form itself. As you can see, we're over here in the styling and we wanna move all the way over to the type. From there, we make this a sign up form and then choose our applicable newsletter provider. For this tutorial, it's ConvertKit, but as you can see, you can use any of the corresponding newsletter providers that are available here. So we'll go ahead and click via ConvertKit. <clears throat> now, you can see here that you do need to connect your ConvertKit API key, which is under your account settings. For security purposes, we won't be putting in the key today, but if you have any issues accessing your API key, you can check out some of our other tutorials or work through the help documents on ConvertKit. What you'll need to do next is grab the form ID from your ConvertKit form. So let's go take a look at where that is. So let me just show you what that number looks like and to do that, I'm going to copy and paste. I'm just in the editing. You can see I'm in the editing. So if we exit preview, you can see we're editing the form here and I'll grab that number and show you what it looks like. Okay. I'm going to paste this over here and this number in the middle of that URL is the form ID number that we're looking for. So go ahead and paste that. From there, you can move on to completion. You can display a message. As you can see, I've edit, edited that here, or you can redirect to URL, whatever you'd like to do, and work on through the options, which is autofocus, meaning the form uh, will focus, the page will be focused on the form as soon as the site loads, uh, and also CAPTCHA to help against spam. You can certainly read through those Google Docs here. From there, you're gonna to want to customize this form the rest of the way you would like it. Working through the fields, you can certainly change out any of these form fields that you would like. Just remember any changes that you're making here, you'll also need to have corresponding with your ConvertKit or newsletter provider form. So as you can see, we have name and email here and we have just name and email on our ConvertKit side as well. Just keep that in mind as you're working through and adjusting the fields. Go ahead and click through the button. You can call this subscribe me as I've done below. And then stylize the form, the fields, and the button in any way you would like to. Be sure that you're checking out your mobile as you're working through. And once you have everything done, you can go ahead and hit done. Then just be sure that any changes that you've made you are saving and publishing so that everything is linked together on your site. After you have it published, I recommend sending through a test email on your new card site and checking ConvertKit to be sure that everything is working as expected. Hope this helps.